Oh, it is 11.47 in the morning, close to noontime, and they are filling the house with the isoflurane or similar like substance right now. So I actually had to bring Kitty out here because he was roaming around the house trying to find air, oxygen, something he can breathe in that is not going to make him feel sick. So I brought him out here to sit here and just try to feel better. Um, they'll counteract that by actually pelting that substance in some other form that when it hits it, it makes a little tink sound and then the gas disperses. Now how that happens, again, I'm not a scientist. I don't know. Sounds crazy, I guess, but it's not really. I mean, when, you, when I talk to the police officer, they actually have their own pellets that do that stuff. Um, not the gas thing, I think, but some other um, dispersing of uh, an agent onto a suspect. They actually have their own modality um, or their own substance that they use, and they use the same modality, though, the uh, way to uh, pelt to use the trajectory of a substance in some other form that then dissipates. Now, for him, he said that they have evidence and proof of it afterwards, like there's something of it afterwards. Um, all I've seen is little white things, but not anything of substance. But it is gas. Um, so how that is being done, I don't know. But I do know that they get Amazon deliveries, they get FedEx deliveries. Um, and it's my personal opinion that those things are coming through those channels. Um, pretty regularly. It's probably a better um, method for them to use than to actually go and pick these things up and have it delivered at one place and all those other things. Um, it just gives them a little bit of separation from it. But I've seen those deliveries arrive to my neighbor's homes, and that is probably most likely one of the things they're getting delivered to their house, if not the only thing. So... But mostly just trying to get Kitty. He just really feels really bad. He can't meow. Um, just like I have a hoarse voice. Just like the dogs when they first bark in the morning. It's like very groggy and um, stuff. Uh, but yeah. That's Kitty. He's just not doing well. It's a lot for an old, you know cat to take. It's a lot of toxins to be absorbed. Um, and this cat did have a low B12, which is actually a sign of prolific use of um, nitrous oxide, which would be in the same family and probably have the same effect. Um, but yeah, again, you want to you wanna be on the side of these kind of people? Go ahead. There's your victim. There's your big badass person that you need to take down and make sick. And, you know, for them, they just don't care. He's just uh, collateral damage to their... Uh, it's a benefit for them. Because they know, of course, it bums me out to see him suffer. Um, but, yeah. There he is. And he was just trying, trying, trying to not... He was just wandering around the house. He was, like, at the door of the other bedrooms, like, yeah. So I brought him out here, but I'll be able to tell from just my nostrils if they keep doing it out here. There's Miho, confused and weirded out up there. Uh, he's trying to be a squirrel catcher, too, but there you go.